It's been the most successful WoW launch since 2019. Season of Mastery 2 broke all the player records and was met with extremely positive feedback. Blizzard even avoided some of the biggest traps that would have spiraled the game into nothingness. Players are playing more and they're feeling heard by the devs for the first time. So what caused the launch to go so well? Well, actually, I think I fell asleep fishing for the hardcore tournament and dreamt all this up. But let's review what Blizzard actually needs to do to make this successful launch a dream come true. For Som2 to have staying power, Blizzard needs to learn that classic launches are the key to success. Classic, more than any other game, really requires people to plan, to take time off work, to strategize around getting to 60. Instead of just stealth dropping Som2, there really has to be careful planning. The betas, the name reservations, the trailers. And obviously my dream involves getting Henry Cavill for a trailer, maybe 6, 10 million views minimum. And so hopefully Blizzard plans a lot better this time around, but they also need to realize that their server setup just doesn't make sense in Classic. Private servers really figured this out when they only had one or two servers and everybody had a sense of community. Despite the cost, we really need Blizzard to invest in new code, new architecture to make this a reality. By just having a few servers, Blizzard can really bring back that private server feel where everybody knows everybody and there's just such a sense of community. It's just not the same being separated by servers. And while the players hopefully rush back in, they'll stick around a lot longer if the leveling is more fun for everybody. At this point, updating things like the enemy AI and the pathing could really make the game feel fresh and yet familiar at the same time. I can really imagine the excitement of seeing a mob like Stitches in Westfall for the first time. And this is also a really good time to rebalance the quest XP. We should be rewarding players for pushing their limits and trying new things. And another new thing Blizzard could do is to go back to the Titan remote from Wrath. I really dream of the day when Blizzard goes back into Classic and makes heroic versions of my favorite dungeons like Deadmines. And it'd be really cool to be able to get extra rewards and XP while you're leveling with maybe a one day lockout. And at the same time, I really hope that Blizzard learns from the success of community run events like Road to Ragnaros. Could you guys think about how cool it'd be if Blizzard decided to sponsor a leveling tournament at launch? Or maybe a hardcore deathless Ragnaros race between Alliance and Horde with a big cash prize. And of course, Blizzard could host all these deathless hardcore events on a brand new Diablo-style hardcore server where death is permanent. And if Blizzard implements those hardcore servers, maybe they finally remember the original core design of WoW. The original designers of WoW thought the game was everything to everybody. And that means everybody, even the portion of the community back in 2019 that loved to increase their damage with world buffs. Blizzard should just re-implement world buffs and just change them a bit like making Songflower no longer dispellable. And also, Blizzard should hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, and the like button. And this is really the right time for Blizzard to finally change the ranking system. While ranking was obviously a rite of passage back in Classic, the system is just so punishing and outdated at this point. I think Blizzard should change the honor system so it's more rewarding for open world PvP. They could also do this by incentivizing city raids and defense at the same time. And they should really gate the rewards above rank 10 until AQ40 so people don't feel forced to compete. And in Season of Mastery 2, Blizzard needs to really build upon what they've done in Season 1. Of course, there need to be multiple difficulty levels of raid bosses with extra loot. And zones like Ashara can finally get fleshed out with new quests, new dungeons, and raids. And Blizzard should dip their toes in the vanilla class balancing for the first time. Assam 2 is the best time to rebalance weaker classes to be more relevant in raids and PvP. But the most important thing Blizzard should do is to finally listen to the player base. They should be pulling your ideas publicly and actually implementing them. Ultimately, Classic is everything to everybody and we all need a voice. And while Blizzard works to make Som2 a success, they really shouldn't abandon Wrath and you shouldn't either. Hopefully you'll still have time to make gold before Phase 3 launches. You should watch my Wrath Investments video to learn how I'm taking 57,000 gold and turning into 100,000 by next phase.